This is why you buy enough connections that screw in there that can also screw into a tripod because look at that. Now I'm gonna be missing this light. Would have helped me out a lot. Welcome back to the Culture Empire. I'm your boy, Kid Culture. Thank you guys for returning for another video. We got another unboxing. I'm excited and I'm nervous and I'm all these things. A couple reasons. I've had this box in here for a week and a half. I haven't had a chance to make a video, so I haven't done a video. That's the reason why I'm nervous. I want to make sure everything works properly and there's nothing broken on it. Nothing like having a new toy, a new addition to the studio, but if it doesn't work, then it doesn't mean anything. And I'm excited because again, I've had it for a week and a half and I haven't done anything with it. So we're finally gonna unbox this. Now, if it's what I think it is, then you know we're in good shape. Then if not, then it's gonna be it's gonna be awkward. But let's do it. Let's get into unboxing this. All right. They gave us a really big box for this one for sure. Is it I'm over here, I just need to cut through it, man. I'm over here nervous, like I told you guys. I'm trying not to. That's a cut off crazy, you know what I mean? Ooh, you, st you start to get glimpses of it. You start to get a glimpse of it. Let me move this back. All right, put that bad boy away. I'm not one for branding, but I really do think that that is a good piece of equipment. All right, so in the box, you're gonna get your receipt and of course as you guys can see what's in here already let's get this big box out of the way you don't need that and let's go ahead and bring this box right there <clears throat> oh it looks pretty doesn't it man there's a rip in here it sucks i like to keep my boxes and i usually like to keep everything intact and i like to keep everything nice and neat this rip kind of ruins it I want to get a shot on both cameras. Look at this. Look how beautiful this thing is. Now, I know you guys, <clears throat> excuse me. I know you guys have heard me mention on this podcast before that gear doesn't matter. And I want to reiterate something. Gear doesn't matter. When you're starting off and you're doing a podcast or you're doing YouTube or anything, a lot of the gear that you get can be budget-friendly gear and it'll get you where you need to get. If you want to record... Let me get this here. If you want to record off of your phone, you can record off your phone, no problem. The video on here is so good that you don't even have to, I'm going to set this aside actually, that you don't have to even get a camera like this high quality camera here or the camera that's a, that's a, the B shot up top. But it's just about creating. It's about getting out there, putting yourself out there and creating. So remember that, okay? Gear doesn't matter. Now, when you start getting a little bit more advanced and you start putting more effort into your videos or more effort into your podcast, uh, uh, something like this is definitely going to help. And the reason this is going to help is because this is going to eliminate for a lot of you, a lot of the post processing, because there is a compressor and a small EQ on here that you can go ahead and kind of already do those things before uh, or while you're recording and then put it out to the world without having to take a lot of time off of it. So that's a, that's why this is good for me. I wanted to integrate this with some other projects that I'll be doing. And so I tried it with mine and mine didn't work. The previous version of what I have is my Zoom L8. I'll be maybe putting a video or a picture of it somewhere around here. But um, if not, just know it's the Zoom L8. I love it. So it's, it's, I love it. You know what I mean? It's, 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 I love its portability. I love how it still has batteries. I know this, I can take a battery pack. That can take batteries. You can take it anywhere. The preamps on there are pretty good. You still have to use the boosters, the cloud lifter, or the tri head, Triton heads, all that stuff in order to boost the signal for the dynamic microphones that require a lot of gain. This one is going to eliminate that, as they say. So, you know, that's one thing that I'm going to get into. For right now, we're not going to get into all the features of this. I just wanted to do an unboxing so you guys can see it. I know I'm a little late to the party, but as I mentioned before, I don't care. This is a beautiful piece of gear. Set that over there. I don't care if you guys see that. Let's see. Back of the box. Basic stuff. All right. Sorry, I got a little sidetracked there. Let's see. How do we open this bad boy? Again, I mentioned I like to keep my boxes nice and neat. So for me, I don't like to rip anything. Ready? No. 
know, even in this camera, you guys like that there. So automatically they're promoting road stuff as you can see right there in that shot. The PSA one is great. I'm actually gonna be getting that plus so I can add it to my grommet holes over here in my office or my studio. But the pod mic is one that I've had on my list for a while for a budget dynamic microphone. I just keep finding good deals on the used market. By the way, you don't have to buy everything brand new. If you can find things on the used market like microphones, I highly suggest that. Offer up Facebook market, check your local areas. And OfferUp is good because they also do shipping and just know you're protected with OfferUp as well as Facebook. I'm not sponsored, this isn't an ad. I'm just letting you guys know the secret on to how I was able to get a lot of my gear used for a good price. Let's see, is there anything in here? Okay, so before we get in there, we're gonna go ahead and do this. So the power cable comes in this box right here. So again, I'm gonna set that back there. I don't care if you guys see the mess. So power cable, here it is right here. Okay, looks good. Set that one aside. We got all this dirt from the box, look at that. All right, so we're gonna set that aside. This is what we want, right? This is what we're, we're wanting. Ooh, it looks so pretty. So pretty. I don't wanna break it. By the way, for all you that are out there, if you guys love your boy, I'm looking for a screen protector for this screen right here, okay? Looking for a screen protector for that screen. I found two that are for the second generation of this. I found two for the second generation of this on Amazon, but they had zero ratings and it was gonna take like over a month to ship. So I didn't feel confident in, in the product with no reviews and it's taking over a month to ship when it's, obviously it's coming from overseas, probably coming from China. I have nothing against buying from China, but I, I don't like being the beta when it comes to a product, especially when it's something so expensive as this, because this is expensive, right? It's expensive gear here. So we don't wanna, we don't wanna just put, we don't wanna slap a Toyota sticker or a bumper sticker on a Ferrari, you know what I'm saying? What else is in here? All right, USB-C to USB-C. I'm guessing that's connectivity to a computer. Here is more of the power. So this connects that and there goes that, okay. So this here to the wall, this to the Rodecaster Pro 2. And there you go. This I'm guessing is again to connect to your computer for USB to USB connection or as an interface, which I use that a lot. I use my computer. I always do two recordings, people. So if one thing you can learn from me is make sure you're doing two recordings because you never know what can happen. Now I've had issues with my Zoom L8 that I've reached out to them and they are great. Zoom, L Zoom is great for responding and helping you with your issues. And if they can't fix it, sending new gear as long as it's under warranty. So Zoom is very good about that. But I was having some issues where at the 10 minute mark, it would cut off when I was recording to the SD card. So I am glad that I recorded into my computer because if I didn't, then it would ruin that and I'd have to do it all over again. Now it did happen to me one time where I was recording portable and it ruined it. Luckily, it was just me. There was no guests, there's no, nothing like that. So it's always good to test your stuff out before you get guests on, things of that nature. But uh, uh, I zoom, they fixed the problem. It looks like it fixed the problem. So I'm, I'm glad with Zoom. I'm happy with Zoom. They're really great. Their customer service is really, really awesome. So the people out there, shouts out. This product is not any kind of knock to them. This is just me wanting to be able to get out certain episodes faster to you guys and wanting to play around with the onboard compression and EQ. That's why, see there's already scratches on that. And I don't like taking that off. I know a lot of people, a lot of you get satis satisfaction from removing that. Not me, man, not until I get a screen protector. I'm weird. So the dials feel pretty good. You know, made of plastic, but they're a hard plastic. Honestly, this is probably what I'm most excited about because on the Zoom L8, it's very clicky. These ones are not, these are not. These are like MIDI keys. Those are a little clicky, but these are like MIDI keys. See, dials feel good. This is what the back looks like. So you got your uh, dual cable. So that way you can put in XLR and uh, TRS or TRS. I'm not sure what they're, what they're called, but you know what I'm talking about. The ones you can put in right there. Um, you got your in and out for any kind of speakers. Then you got four to monitor the, the, the sound, four headset amps to monitor the sound. One USB, what I'm guessing is power. No, power's there. One USB to USB and two USB. I'll, I'll figure out what those are for. Uh, but it's cool, man. This is like a little computer. Oh, another thing it has is it has this right here. That right there. 
What that is huge for, guess this, that is huge for mounting it on a visa mount or something of that nature. So one thing I'm gonna go ahead and do, hold on, hold on. Don't mind if it's a little dusty. Sorry guys, if it's a little dusty, but here we got the shot side by side, right? So here you can see the difference in how much wider this one is to here. But this is what I was talking about. So these dials feel better than this here. I love this, I love all this, but here's what I'm talking about. Could you hear that in the sound pad? Now tell me if you could hear this. Those ones are a little more stiff, but like if I have to touch anything, like if I have to mute, see? Mute's different. I think that's solo, it's different, right? Like it just seems, if I have to do something here, see these buttons are very clicky. If I have to do it, obviously there's not gonna be. And you get uh, six here and two here. So that's one thing I like about this is it gives you more connectivity. So for reference, see this is what it looks like. The SD card goes there, power goes in the back. There's nothing in the back, but batteries can go there, right? So that's always good. Sorry, I didn't have a good angle. Batteries can go there, things like that. I hope the shot up there is in frame or in focus, man. Man, either way, if it wasn't, this gives you an idea of what it looks like. Hopefully it's not too blurry. Like I said, hopefully it's in focus. Maybe guys, I don't know, we'll see. Again, if it wasn't in focus, I apologize, but this is gonna give you a side-by-side -side comparison of the two things that I use and the difference. This only gives you six sound pads, but if you're recording, see it here, if you're recording on your, your phone, if you have it plugged in here, record on the phone, it's gonna take away these, so you can't use these from the sound pad. So that's what I like about this. I'll always be able to have this. I'll be able to upload it, and it gives you more than just these eight. That's what this is, to scroll through your different pages and to go through it, at least from what I've seen. So again, guys, I hope this video wasn't too long. I just wanted you guys to get a, a visual of the unboxing of what I use for people that were curious to know what I use, which I still highly, highly, highly recommend. Just in case it wasn't in focus, I'm gonna put it here. I still highly, highly recommend this right here, okay? This is what I was talking about, about the buttons being too clicky, is if you notice, see? And then here's the sound pads. They're not as loud, but still clicky. And again, here is the Rodecaster Pro 2 in case it was not in focus with my other shot. Quiet. These are a little loud, but not too bad. And so, yeah, there's that. All right, guys. Thank you for coming back for another video. Stick around for the next one because I may do a comparison of these ones. I know that I teased on a short that I was gonna do a comparison with microphone sounds. The reason why I did that is because I knew that I had gotten the Rodecaster Pro 2 and I wanted to go ahead and do sounds with them in as well as the the dynamic or, or default settings that I can do an EQ for so you guys can hear that as well. Hopefully that'll help you guys make a decision on what you want. You guys do not need this piece of gear. Again, you do not need this. This is overkill. This right here is over, overkill. The Rodecaster, I'm sorry, the Zoom Pod Track 4, I believe it's called. That is enough. It's under $200. That's what I highly recommend. It still records at 16 bit, but it's okay for just uh, uh, vocals. So if you're planning on only doing a podcast, not only is it portable, but it has four connections. It's like this big, right? And uh, you can take it anywhere. You can put it in a backpack. You can still monitor your audio, I believe up to four people. So definitely take a look at that. You don't need to get all of this stuff. This is just me wanting to advance my channel, my podcast, and up my sound for you guys who have stuck with me. So until next time, really appreciate you guys tuning in to another unboxing. Stick around for the next video. And as always, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications to get notified when your boy releases a new video. Until next time. Peace.